We have our little smallmouth. We had him in the ice chest. We've left him there since we caught him, got him nice and cooled down on the ice. We're getting ready to clean him to make him ready to eat. If this were a trout, I would take a knife and I would insert it at the anal opening and run all the way up through here, open it up, and then just remove the guts and cut the head off. But because it's a bass, they have larger scales and you need to remove the skin or remove the scales. It's easier just to remove the skin. On a trout, they have really small scales, so it doesn't matter. But on a bass, you want to remove those. So with this, we're going to do what's called the fillet method. Instead of gutting it, we're going to make an incision right here behind this pectoral fin, and I'm going to angle it a little bit towards the head. I'm just getting it in there far enough that it cuts the skin and part way into the meat. Then I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I've got to get it behind the gill plate. And then on top, I'm going to connect those cuts on either side. Now, I'm gonna come right down his back and I'm gonna stay on this side of this fin. There's this thing called a dorsal fin right here. And right here, I'm gonna stay just on top of that. And I'm gonna run this knife right along the backbone here. I'm just going through the skin on the top side. And then I'm gonna poke it all the way through right here. So you see it come out this side. And I'm going to go right down to the tail. And then I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to work my way up towards the head. Notice that I always keep my hands away from the blade. I don't want my hands in front of the blade at any time. I'm cutting through the rib bones. And then I'll cut this. Just connect that right there. And now that fillet is off. You can see it's right against the, the bones there. And now we don't have, we didn't lose hardly any meat. And I left it attached to the fish so that it has something to grab as I come in here like this. And I just move the knife back and forth and kind of pull the skin and the fish towards me like this. And what that does is it removes the meat from the skin. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Okay, so that's mostly just skin, and now we have a piece of meat. And there's some rib bones right here, and we're gonna come in right behind those rib bones, and remove those from the meat. And now, now this wasn't a very big fish, so it's not a very big fish piece of meat, but now, we have just a piece of meat there with no skin and no bones, and it's ready to cook up. And then we're gonna just flip the fish over and do the same thing on the other side. Like I say, keep these paper towels so it doesn't, doesn't slip and slide all over the place. And then I just use the skin to hang on to. I'm just kind of moving the knife back and forth, back and forth, and angling it down towards the skin. I'm not really trying to cut, I'm just trying to wiggle it back and forth and get the meat off the skin just like that. And if you look at that, there is not any meat on that skin anywhere. Then we'll take it again just like we did before. Focus right here, come in close right here. There's rib bones right here. You can actually see them we just come right up underneath those. Remove them from the meat. That's all bones, we don't want that. And now we have two perfectly good pieces of meat all ready to eat. Okay, we have fresh fish here. We just got it all filleted out. We're gonna go ahead and cook it. I'm gonna use Slap Your Mama. It's some seasoning I bought at Walmart. I've heard it's really good. Got a little heat in it. My wife put a little note on the top, says hot, we'll find out. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on here on this side. And because I'm not afraid of heat, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on the other side. Then we're just going to wait a minute for the oil to heat up. And we're going to fry that in some oil on the pan. And we're going to take care of that in just a second. Okay, we have our fish all ready to go. Over here, we got some oil heating up. In order to tell whether it's hot enough or not, we'll go ahead and use this wooden spoon. We'll put it down by it. And if it looks like there's just a few bubbles coming off, like there is right there, that means it's ready. If there's a lot of bubbles, then it's too hot. So I'll go ahead and lay this fish in there. You don't want to drop it. You want to lay it in. 
so you don't burn yourself. It's been pretty close that time. Lay it in this way, a little more careful. And as it turns right, that means it's cooked. This is a really thin piece of fish, so it's not gonna take very long. Let that cook for probably less than just a minute or two. It's not gonna take very long on this at all. Now that dark area in the center, that means it's not quite cooked. You want it to all be white. So I'm gonna let it cook on this other side for just a little bit, and then I'll flip it back over. I'll go ahead and flip it over and see if the other side's completely cooked. Yeah, that side's cooked really well. I got this side. When it's done, there shouldn't be any clear meat. It should all be white. Test it and see. See if it'll separate at all. When it separates easy, it's like that. It's white all the way through. That means it's done. I just tasted it and it is finished. So we'll set it back on the paper towel to drain. And then we'll enjoy eating it here in just a minute. Hey, we got our fish here. It's cooled down a little bit. I'm going to give it a try. This is our taste test on this catch and cook. We'll see if it's any good. Hopefully it is. Like say it's got a little heat on it. We'll see what happens. Oh, actually, that's, mm, that's really good. And I waited just the right amount of time. It's not too hot. If you guys try this and you put that slap your mama on there and fry it in a little oil, you will be very happy with the results. Mm. I don't even like fish, and that's good stuff. Mm -hmm.